Can you believe it? By the end of today's video, there is a very real possibility that you might be able to view your Dexcom CGM values on your Android watch. These values include the blood glucose numbers, a full colored trending graph, the number of minutes since your last update, and time of day, and even the numerical rate of change, also called the delta. Let's get into it. Welcome back all my type ones, twos, monies, and lattas. I'm Ben, I'm a firefighter, a medic, and a type one diabetic, and I am super pumped about today's video. If you can get this to work, it will truly change your life. Now here are a few things that you need to know before we begin. Unlike the previous video, this is not a hack. It's a very easy method that utilizes three trusted apps that work together to help you view the information mentioned on your Android watch. I wanna thank one of my viewers, Graham Croft, for emailing this method to me with the instructions. His method was done using his Galaxy Watch 5, but I got it to work on my Galaxy Watch 4 with a few tweaks. And I am hopeful that it can be used on your Android watch to do the same. Since this method uses the Dexcom Share app, you should also, in theory, be able to view your loved one's numbers straight from your watch. And if this works, please, please let me know because I know how much it means to you guys. Now in this video, I tried my best to provide you with a step-by-step -step replay of what I did and what I was thinking as I walked through this process. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, first you wanna set up your Dexcom Follow app. You could find that in your Android store. Go to your Dexcom G6 app also and hit the share button and add yourself a follower. I added my wife because I have access to her email and you're gonna need that. Put in the information and click next. Trend graph view, set that up how you want and click next. Follower settings, whatever you want them to see and click next. and then review the information. After you're done with this step, it's gonna send an email uh, to your family member. Once you're done with that, go to the G Watch Wear app and install that on your phone. That's also in the Android store. Go up to these three dots here, click on settings, and then data sources. You'll see Glip and XDRIP. You can go ahead and uncheck those. What we're looking for are the two Dexcom options. So there's Dexcom app, clicked on that one, and then enable Dexcom share follower, that. And then it's gonna ask you to put in your account name. This is the same as your Dexcom share login or your Clarity login. Put in your information and your password. After a lot of these steps, you're gonna to want to refresh or send the values. I try to do this as often as possible when I'm setting something up. Make sure you change it to a US account. And cloud latency, that's how often your, this app is gonna update for you. So you see here, one minute ago, it updated to 139. That was my milligram per deciliter. So I'm gonna set this to 150 seconds. That way it doesn't drain too much of my battery. Then you go back. When you go to glucose levels, here you can see a couple different options. Um, set up your highs and your lows. So my high is 180 and I like to see my low, my hypoglycemia. I don't like to see that until it's around 60. Make sure the right milligrams per deciliter. And then go to app widget. This is just kind of like how it's gonna look when you're done with it. On your trending graph and all the different colors and options it's gonna give you. We won't mess with this too much right now. But I just wanted to let you know what it's gonna look like. This is the different colors on your glucose trend graph, those colors there. widget graph 
and widget background. I messed with this a little bit at first and really what it does is it puts a colored square behind the app and it looks not cool. So I just left it black. Widget on click action. Don't do anything. Just leave it G watch wear app and we'll go forward. All right, back to the Galaxy wearable app. This is where you can find all your watch faces. These are the faces I have now. We want to go down to our um, downloads. Everything we do today will be found in downloaded. So as you can see here, there are two new watch faces, but we're not going to use these. We're going to make something cool. So we go to the wearable widget. We download that from the app store as well. This is a really cool app and this is going to allow us to do a lot of cool different things with our watch faces. Now while you're downloading the wearable widget app, I just want to encourage you if content like this is important to diabetics like you, please subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. Go ahead and open that up. Requires a small companion. So it's asking me to choose a widget for a Samsung watch. It's already identifying that. So what I'm looking for is that G watch widget, that one. Create a widget and allow access. Yep. I think that'll work. Requires a small companion app. You already told me that. And so this is what the widget or the watch face is supposed to look like, but there's nothing there yet. So we have to configure it. It's supposed to look like this but right now it looks like that. So let's go back to the Galaxy wearable and back to watch faces. We're gonna scroll back down to downloaded, but this time we're looking for our widget app. So the wearable widget, we'll click on this one. And now it's gonna give us a customized option. So let's customize it. And now we're at this screen. So what we want to do is system icon position. I want the icons to be centered. You can put it at the top, just whatever works for you. Darken in ambient mode, that'll save you battery. Tap on widgets will be passed through to the phone. Uncheck that one. then go back and then go up to this hamburger here and then now you see there's another galaxy watch that's my actual watch that's the watch 4 so we'll click on that one too and kind of go through the same process we're going to go back down and we're going to look for the G watch widget still nothing so let's see if we can refresh it if that does anything nope Go to the hamburger. Let's manage this, the, the devices. So here there's gonna be three options, Wear OS, Samsung, and Google Glass. I don't have Wear OS. I don't have Wear OS, it's never worked for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to set it up again through the Google Play Store and see if that changes anything. So I'm gonna install this. and open it up, get started. So start setup, I agree to the terms, make it better, sure. I did it, I tried it, and it never connected. So, but when I went back and looked at my watch, it started working, which is weird. I looked at the app and there it is, it's working. Um, so what, I, what you need to do now is configure it a little bit further Go to Manage Devices. Now you'll see a Wear OS option up there. It wasn't there before, even though it didn't even work. It's there, so, so now what I wanna do is hit the rotary scroll, interactive tiles, show the time above the widget. I always wanna see the time, there it is. And 
widget navigation, horizontal swipe. I like using the swipe, not the buttons. System icon position, centered on screen. You can also do it at the top. These are just kind of what's going to work best for you. Dark, uh, darken in ambient mode, that's another save your battery option. And then all the way down to the bottom, stop when not on screen. That's another save the battery option. So we're going back now. And back to refresh. And that should update everything. And you're all done. And just like that. It's alive. Now I know this method isn't gonna work for everyone, but if you have issues, please let us know in the comments. The community is super helpful. On my last video, there was always people on there helping each other out, and I'd love to see that again. Well, I'm Ben, I'm Type Me, and I'll see you next time.